Hi everyone. In this introductory video on Power BI, let's try to understand why Power BI is considered as one of the best tools in BI. So on business intelligence space, how you can make meaningful insights on your data. Data can be structured or unstructured, but data is very important. And the analysis and the analytics part of it is most critical in day-to-day -day business. So if you can understand your data, collect large amount of data and make meaningful insights on this, and you can identify the outliers. So outliers can always give you what is going wrong and what is going right. So these analysis can help you to improve your business, gain insights on your business and drive your business better. So let's go through the key features and what are the major parameters like influencing and analytical parameters you should be looking at without having much knowledge on the programming or without no, having any knowledge on programming. So you should be able to start with it. So I'm not going to touch upon each and every button click. There are so many videos available on the scene. My intention is to give you an insight on how you should use the tool and how you should make best out of this tool for your business. Let's watch. Why Power BI should be used as a visualization tool? What is the distinguishing factor or why it has widespread audience who are interested in this product? When we check the facts, first thing it is economical. When I say economical, you can directly go to Power BI website and download the desktop version for free. And you can start developing the reports and dashboards that are easy and complex. So you can access various data sources and you can schedule the auto refresh intervals and you can access a lot of visualizations. It's all available for free, which will help the organization or the developers to use this product without much of a hassle. Another highlight is the ease of use. So once you download the Power BI desktop version from the internet, you can literally start without much of a programming knowledge or expertise on visualization. So once you choose the product, once you open it, you can see get data option. The moment you click on get data, this allows you to connect to all the possible data sources. So as you can see, there are file structures which can be accessed. It is always easier to start with an Excel or you can connect to any database like IBM or SAP HANA, SAP Warehouse or any BW structures or SQL databases or you have these power platforms from Power BI or the cloud services you can access the online services Microsoft Dyn Dynamics and all those stuff or the Google Analytics this is a very powerful feature and if you don't have much of a details you can connect to ODBC or if you have website or SharePoint another important factor to notice is Python scripting and R scripting. So analytics has become an important factor in day-to-day -day life and for every organization and every business creating an insight has a lot of value. So Python scripting and R scripting is embedded on top of the artificial intelligent features which the tool provides. As you can see there are key influencers which is actually running based on the artificial intelligence network. To give a better perspective, let's look at some of the samples. So when you go to a new tab, if I click on this Q&A feature, see this is automatically suggesting based on the data. And you can create suggestions so that you don't you are executing only need to click on that but whereas you can always type 
whatever he requires. As an example, they can type like show me the COGS by customer state and product. See, you can see the map is already has come because the moment you type the customer state, it has identified the data type and it has automatically showing you the the world map. Suppose if you reverse this by product, it is showing you the bar chart. So if you want to see uh, in, in tree map, for example, so it, it shows in tree map. Um, see, I, I didn't type in properly, but still it will it will identify. So in line, it will show. So this is, this is an interesting feature. If they find it interesting, they can directly add it to this uh, as a dashboard. So you can pin the live page or you can pin to a dashboard and this information will be readily available only for them. So it's, it's as per the person's interest, they can create their own visualization. So you type as per your mind, it's a nat natural language processing feature. So the moment you type in, it will show you various options. You choose whichever you like and you can directly add it to your dashboard. So you don't have to rely on a person to develop it for you. Now when you take key influencer. So if you go here and say for example, you wanted to know what is the see gross, you can drag in here or you can type here analyze what is your margin supply to increase or decrease you just drag in some of the uh, I mean features randomly because you may not know what all it is actually influencing so you would like to know what is a correlation so this is to identify the correlation based on the artificial intelligence of the product So I dragged in a couple of features from fact, products and all those things. So it has identified that to increase this margin, there are so many influencing factors. So if you click on, say, on, on the budget, so it, it varies based on your um, data. But the, the important factor is that Power BI by itself has artificial intelligence algorithms running in the background, which is finding out the correlations and telling you that what is influencing each and every parameter so when you click on this you can see the outliers so outliers are always important it will it is an opportunity so the moment you see an outlier you can identify that this actually can improve or drastically reduce your performance so you can click on any of these so it is not always as outlier some of them will be bar chart so based on the parameters it will show you what are the influencing factors which will help you to identify and act on this. Another powerful feature is the automatic data type identification. You can drag in this map or you can go to any of these fields. Say, say for example, if you go to customers, you can see customer city, it is the globe automatically defined. So the moment you click on this, it will not show you a number, it will show you the map automatically if you if you show for example if you click on name then it is identifying it as a table and when you click on a state code on top of it it will show like this but whereas if you click on a blank space and click on state code it will open your map because it identifies the data type automatically which will give a lot of flexibility for visualization point of view. So I'm not going to a lot of features now, which, which we can uh, come into in, in later sessions, but um, there are some more points to note why, why Power BI. Uh, you have a lot of visualization, as you can see, it's freely available. And on top of this, if you go to the marketplace, you can get more visuals from the marketplace for free. So. The moment you click on get visuals, 
it takes from your organization for the or, or the app store and it will show a lot of visualizations which are freely available for use another important factor to notice is that you can collaborate better so when you have a dashboard and if you have something to discuss you can add a comment over here so it's same as this comments button and you can put an at the rate and choose anybody from your organization and you can send a message to them so the moment you click on at the rate it will show you all the people in your organization or in your network and then you can type in whatever you require or, or it's just like a whatsapp chat you can add multiple people and click on post so if you can if, if you are an executive you can uh, ask a question about why this um, sales numbers is not matching or why this is going low or what is the reason for this so they will receive an email as well as uh, the this history will be available across so if you're communicating between the departments you can type in the data over here and this information will be there in the history which can be referred at any point of time there are many other factors like uh, role level security features and dashboard alerts and many more which we can discuss in the further courses as an executive you always want to extract the information into a powerpoint a pdf or an excel or csv any any readable or manageable format even though power bi allows you to analyze the data in much better way you might require some presentation or some sessions which which will require all this information to be shown on a powerpoint so if you go to any of the screen i mean you can go to any tile specifically but still let's let's take any of the tile and click on, on every tile see each of these are considered as tile so this is one information this is another information even this 83 number of customers it's another tile so the moment you drag your mouse over there you can see multiple options over here this is pin to dashboard this one is to copy visual as an image you can apply filters on this and these are more options so when you click on this more options you can definitely collaborate with your peers so per tile you can collaborate or per report also you can collaborate so you can discuss one individual number also with any of your executive colleague say for example if you see there are seven products available or say 83 number of customers if you feel that this number is not right or if there is some issue or if you want to know how if there's a customer churn happening so you can talk to your sales executive on this particular tile alone so this is one add command option but what we were exp ex um, discussing was the export data option so you can export this information to csv or excel and you can show it as a table the moment you click on show as a table it will open in the focus mode where you can see the data so you can switch to horizontal or vertical and you can see all the information displayed on this graph on a tabular format coming back to the same options you can do spotlight so this this visual will be highlighted on the page or you can sort descending ascending and all another option to export the data is to click on this export so this will allow you to export the entire report into a powerpoint a pdf or you can print it suppose if you want to show the hard copies to somebody you can print it otherwise you can export this to powerpoint so the moment you click on export it will ask whether it is it is with the current values or with the default values so suppose if you are changing something then definitely it will be the current values now when you click on export this export exporting to a powerpoint presentation so it has exported now so you can see there's a front page created followed by all the pages in the report as it is so you can see here all the scorecards and the industry margin analysis 
and even the current page which we were uh, trying out right now so it's a i mean easier option when you get this in powerpoint you can cut and choose anything any of these slides or or particular tiles and then use it in your reporting now when you go and check the report there will be always a data set this is analyze in excel this option is always available you can either use it or it, it's up to you and then this is the report you have created and there is a dashboard so when i click on this report options you can see quick insights so it's just that you have you have a data set and you have created some reports but it is always possible that power bi can identify the insights as we mentioned it has an artificial intelligent en engine which can go into this data and tell you what are the insights it can derive so the moment you click on quick insights it will say it is going and searching for insights so it could tell you some outliers or it could tell you some correlation between uh, your parameters now the insights are ready when you click on view insights it all depends on the quality of your data so the more you have the data the more or the better insights system can derive so you can see the count of cities like this you can even change some of the insights so there are filters possible you can go and change instead of count of city i need to change something else you can always go and change it over here then uh, the total revenue is like this so it, it's all based on our sample data but uh, and see these are some outliers it is uh, deriving based on the name and the executives so for each sales executive it is creating some insight so uh, in in short we are not creating any of these reports this is um, automatically suggested by the system so if you like any of this insight if you think this is valuable so you can click on this pin visual and pin to dashboard so without any of the effort so you can move this to your dashboard suppose you created the pin now you can make it as a phone view or a desktop view or a tablet view and all so when you go to this dashboard you can see all this information which was already created and this is the natural language processing option nlp questionnaires will be available over here so while choosing a business intelligent product or any other product it is essential to know who all are the market leaders so the industry leaders as we can check in the gartner's magic quadrant so this is the latest release but uh, you you can see for the past 6 or 7 years microsoft power bi is trending above all the other products so which is also required to know while you are choosing a bi product like why this product why not the other product so i just touched up on the key features i only explained about power bi desktop so once you create a report you can click on the publish icon so once you publish it will be available in the internet with restricted access only you can access it but as a power bi service option you will be able to access it and in power bi mobile you can access through mobile or tablet and you can add it to your power bi app and all so collaborative options comes up with the premium version but the first and foremost thing is you need to start it so even without any experience even without any programming language even without any bi expertise you can start developing reports so first and foremost you need to start doing a report creation there's nobody can teach you better than your own experience so let's begin so in this video series i'll come up with the key features which can bring value to your business hope you enjoyed this video and please don't forget to like and subscribe thank you